paradigm shift. An educational comedy. It's not a cause. Not a movement. It's not a social group you can slap a label on to. It's, it's an, an idea. idea. It's an intention. It's an intuition. A mindset in which reality can be explored. It's a genuine expression. A certain way. Critical thinking and imagination. To look inward upon ourselves. To better understand the external world around us. And yes, we egos are bound to be bruised. With our silly, strange, politically incorrect. Your style of going about things. Real, Real and raw honesty. Which invites you to be to the, the fullest. fullest. industries thriving on like just make them feel like their bodies are unacceptable and then like sell them some shit. Look at any magazine, like you're amazing, they need to lose like 10 pounds. Love your body, love your hair, whatever you've done is wrong. You look like a sea monster. Everything's got like a weird mixed message and a weird like hoary undertone, like be a bad girl knowing your sexuality, but if you fuck more than one dude, you're a whore. Like everything's wrong. Now you can't just go around like epic dudes, but you can have sex with more than one and that's okay. Even my eyeliner has a sexual message, it's called bad now. 14 year olds can buy those. Are they bad girls? Yeah, tiny bad girls. Uh, it comes with a little devil that sits on your shoulder, and as you're putting on, it whispers delicious things in your ear, like, oh, I better get ready for the. You're a bad girl. Close that window, yeah, I better get ready. Yeah, you wanna fuck in a dumpster, you. Sound like a bad girl, but just someone that just needs a home, right? Or. I'm not a bad girl, I'm just trying to put on eyeliner so I don't like newborn hamster face. I'm just trying to... Yeah, no, you're a bad girl. I'm not a bad girl. Yeah, you are. You want to give a hand job in an actor of going 50 and a 30. No insurance. You're a bad girl. What are you talking about? <laughs> I have insurance. What's my blush called? Flirty girl. Yeah, tart it up, you hooker. Yeah, look super horny, ready to go. You're a flirty girl. Dress like that, you were asking for it. Dress like what? Like a cool mom out on like mom's night out? Like dress like what? Yeah, you want to fuck in a dumpster. What's with you and fucking with dumpster? I want to fuck in a dumpster. Well, you're projecting. <laughs> Again, my issue with it isn't that there's a sexual undertone. My issue with it is that it's a negative message to women, but guys reap a positive effect, right? Guys like, oh, she's a bad girl. Maybe she's such a deep. That's pretty much what it's coming out of that. Maybe she wore spiked leather club, yeah, on a motorcycle. She's probably a lesbian, she's on a motorcycle, okay. Bad gal. There's no men's products. There are no men's products that have, like, a negative message to men, but women breathe a positive effect. There's no guy putting on cologne, and as he's doing, he's hearing, you're gonna text her back within a reasonable time frame. There's no guy putting on aftershave, and as he's putting it on, he's here. You're 37 and share a room with two other dudes in the hipster part of town, and outside of the context of Los Angeles, it's actually totally socially unacceptable for a with that. You run a t-shirt making business? Awesome. You only have online shit? That's cool. No real t-shirts. Also, you ride a bike to work and claim it's ecologically responsible, but we all know your credit is so fucked you can't get financing for a Kia. 